What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. Thank you guys for being here as always. Drop a like down below because I already know. I mean, I know, y'all know, everybody knows that you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Let me start this out by... I had somebody comment under my, one of my videos earlier yesterday and tell me that I'm a bum and how I told y'all that I promised y'all I was going to do NBA High Five videos and I fucking suck for not doing them. Now, let me explain to y'all. For anybody who doesn't follow me on Twitter, I gave the explanation on there. When there is early slate MLB, right? When I wake up in the morning and I have to immediately get into an MLB slate because greenlightdfs.com, we play every slate we can. All right, if there's, a, if there's a good early slate, then I'll have to study that slate. On top of that, you guys know how deep I get into slates. So if I have a slate to do in the morning, I have no time to record videos. And at the end of the day, greenlightdfs.com is my number one focus. I have to make sure I take care of my people, and then I do videos after if I'm able to. Um, but yeah, so if I have early MLB slates, it'll take away some of my time to do the videos. But y'all know I love coming on here and talking to y'all. I, I hate when I can't do videos. But today, I don't have an early MLB slate, so you know what time it is. All right, greenlightdfs.com, join the squad. I am back with another NBA high five. Let's get straight into it. Let's smash this slate. We got a nice juicy slate on this Friday. Let's head into this weekend just completely dominating both sports. Let's get it. Starting off at point guard on this slate. I'm going to start it off with a value play because I really, really like the value options on this slate today. And we're going to start it off with Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes and Saban Lee are both fine. Um, I want some Detroit. All right, my first instinct is grabbing some Detroit because at the end of the day, they're just a very thin team right now. This is a team you definitely want some exposure to. Them and Toronto, missing Lowry, missing OG Anubi, uh, missing uh, Pascal Siakam. Like, so we'll get to that in a second. Matter of fact, while I'm on it, let me just go ahead and put Van Vliet in there. As you can see, I have Van Vliet at 50. He is going to have to put this Toronto Raptor team on his shoulder. If you guys have never seen a human being carry a Raptor on his shoulders, you're going to see that shit tonight. Okay, Fred Van Vliet is going to be playing this game with an entire Raptor on his shoulders the entire time. All right, Fred Van Vliet, his usage is going to be ridiculous tonight. He is almost a must play under 8K. He is locked for at least 40. I mean, at least 40, probably by halftime. This is a great situation for him. Well, by halftime is a little bit of a stretch. Let me take that back. But we know what he's capable of. Could he be a little bit cold coming back? Maybe. Possibly. But at the end of the day, the team needs him a ton, so he's definitely going to have to play a ton, and I love him. Him and Killian Hayes, just on extremely short teams. And speaking of that, Sadiq Bey, another Detroit guy that I really, really like today. As you can see, let me add Caleb in too, because he's one of my favorite values as well, and the green light optimizer agrees with me. Caleb Martin, Sadiq Bey, let me talk about him. Sadiq Bey on a Detroit team that is extremely thin right now. I shouldn't have to explain this too much. Bay is under 5K. He feels pretty damn safe for a floor of 25 at least. So that's 5X if you round up to 5K. Sadiq Bay is a fantastic option today. Caleb Martin is a fantastic value in my opinion as well. You got Devontae Graham out, PJ Washington out. You've got guys out for this Charlotte squad. Um, this is a great spot for Caleb Martin to shine here. And at 3-6, I really, really love Caleb Martin in a very plus matchup against Brooklyn. Yes, sir. And as he showed a couple nights ago, he can get that 40. It's not going to happen often. That was like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. But can he get you over 20 and hit value pretty easily? Probably. So I like him a lot at 3-6. And then last but not least, I got to get another Raptor. And I think it's a Boucher night today. And this dude's got huge upside. I have to play him. Chris Boucher or Boucher or however you say this dude's name, not sure. But Chris, I'm going to say Boucher, but it could be Boucher or something like that. I don't know, but. Chris is in a great spot, 7-1. We need at least 35 for 5X. We won't cry if he gets 35. I mean, we won't be extremely happy jumping for joy, but we're not going to cry if he gets 35. And he has the upside of 50. That's the big point with Chris, Chris here in this one. All right? So that's our high five for DK to start it off. Killian Hayes, Fred Van Vliet, Sadiq Bey, Chris Boucher, and Caleb Martin is the high five for DraftKings. Let's go over to FanDuel and let's check our guys out and let's see what we got over here. Let me scroll down a little bit, clear that out. All right. So here we go. 
Starting off first. First guy we want to check on is Van Vliet because he's, oh my god, 7-4. Yes, love Van Vliet a lot. Um, who else? Let's check on Boucher at the center position. He is 7-5 and he's setter only, which I hate. Um, let me see. Uh, outside of that, let's check on Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes is extremely cheap at 3-8. He is still in play over here. What about Sadiq Bey? Sadiq Bey is 5-3. He's a little more over here compared to 4-8 over there. Kayla Martin is still an extreme value over here at 3-5. He's fine as well. Um, let's just see what the optimizer likes at different positions. Here we go. So, Fred Van Vliet's obviously the favorite. Uh, completely understandable. Uh, let's see, value-wise in general. Let me sort by value. Saban Lee pops really hard. I do like Saban as well at 3-5. Kem Birch, Isaiah Stewart is definitely interesting here. Um, as you can see, Optimizer loves him at 33.8. You know what? Let me put him in at power forward because Detroit is so thin. I'm going to take a shot on Isaiah Stewart in the core for FanDuel as well. So, Killian Hayes, Fred Van Vliet, Caleb Martin, and Isaiah Stewart is the core for FanDuel. By the way, y'all, when I do these videos, it's first look looks at this slate. If if anything changes or you guys have any questions as the day goes on, you can hit me up on Twitter at cam underscore ATL. Okay, that's the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, you could DM me, at me on there, whatever, uh, at cam underscore ATL. All right? Now, let's get straight to Yahoo. Let's check Yahoo out real quick for all our Yahoo players. Clear out that one. All right. First and foremost, we got to check on our guys. Fred Van Vliet, I'm probably just going to lock Van Vliet everywhere. Um, Killian Hayes is 10. Saban Lee is 10. I'm going to stick with Hayes as a value play. I love Saban Lee still. Um, Chris Boucher is 22. I will take that. That is too cheap. Um, how much is Sadiq Bey? 14? All right. We'll take that over here. So that's a good course. Same, same pretty much group of guys as you guys could tell. It's pretty much same group of guys. Now, one important thing is you need to make sure you pay attention to starting lineups. All right. Remember, the biggest factor that that uh, comes into play here is that when I do these videos in the morning, I only have a certain amount of information. All right. Um, as the day goes on, certain people can become absolute locks that are not locks right now. You know what I mean? So make sure you pay attention to that stuff. Hit up greenlightdfs.com. Choose a package there, play with the NBA optimizer throughout the day, and then, you know, compare it to what I put out later on and, you know, build a super line if you want to. Do all that kind of stuff. I have a lot of people who don't play exactly what I like for the day. They will take my advice for what I believe is the most optimal, and then they'll put their own touches on it. You know what I mean? And I completely feel that. I love that. I love seeing people getting takedowns just making a couple moves off of what I had. You know what I'm saying? So it's awesome. So anyways... Let's get it today, man. That's about it. So Killian Hayes, Fred Van Vliet, Sadiq Bey, Chris Boucher as the core on Yahoo for anybody who plays Yahoo. On FanDuel, Hayes, Van Vliet, Caleb Martin, and Isaiah Stewart. And then on DraftKings, we have Hayes, Van Vliet, Bey, Boucher, and Caleb Martin. Um, one guy that I talked about many times, but I don't have in any of my cores, Saban Lee is a great value today. All right, I just want to reiterate that. Um, it does seem like a slate where you're going to have plenty of money. Uh, so far, especially if a couple more great values pop up. Um, so when it comes to spending on a stud, let's see what the optimizer loves the most. All right, so it's Westbrook number one, Jokic, Towns, Vooch as the top four guys um, to spend up on today. Westbrook will probably be the number one guy. Um, he's just been lights out, and he's just amazing. Um, Jokic's fine. Towns is fine. Uh, I, I don't like Towns as much because I don't love the matchup against Miami, but I love Jokic and Westbrook as the two spend-up guys if you want to add a spend-up to what you have going. Because we have such solid value on the slate, I mean, Killian Hayes, Caleb Martin, Saban Lee, like there's a lot of value. Sadiq Bey even if you want to count that under 5K, so... I love it. Thank you guys for joining me as always. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad. Let's smash. Uh, and I'm about to drop an MLB Hi-Fi video. So come over there and check that out. Thank you guys for joining me. And I'm out.